Hi everyone, it's Greg's Kitchen Time once again, and today I'm using something that I haven't actually used on my show before. It's a Dutch oven! No, not the thing you do to your girlfriend late at night in bed. I'm talking about one of these! Now you might know this is a casserole dish as well, but thanks to my Patreons for this, that's really good. I'm going to be making a few more videos with this. And to christen it today, I'm just going to make a really simple braised beef with a few veggies thrown in. Whack it in the old oven, one pot meal, what more do you want? It's Greg's Kitchen time, let's start cooking. So these are the ingredients I'm using, hardly any really, and everything here you should be able to find in your local supermarket, and if you can't find it, then I think it's time you moved house. <laughs> now I am cooking it on the stove and in the oven, so let's start by turning on the oven, because it's gonna be slow cooking in there. 160 degrees Celsius. That's about 325 Farabut jingles. Right, so, now that's done, let's turn this on, heat this up, because we're going to start browning the steaks. So, I've got some cheap old steak here, the cheapest you can get. No point using the expensive stuff for this, this is why they make cheap steaks, especially for this sort of recipe. So, I'm not even going to be bothering cutting it up, because it's going to be melting off the bone, if there was a bone in it. So you wouldn't even have to cut it up. It's going to be shreddable. Well, at least I hope it is. Let's hope this new Dutch oven does its thing. So, for starters, right. I'm so excited. I've got a new Dutch oven. Okay, so first of all, we've got to brown these steaks. Okay, so, oh, a bit of fresh smoke coming off there. Mmm, smells all right. So in the bottom, we will put some oil and start cooking these steaks. Oh yeah. Just, just suck them in. Oh God, be careful. Oh. We'll brown those. Ooh. Put that lid on, that sounds savage. And while that's browning, Let's cut some veggies up, huh? So for this recipe, I am going to be adding some vegetables here. Just a couple of carrots. I've got two onions here. They're only pretty small, but uh, you know what? I figure there might be some nice juices there to make a nice gravy with. And I've got four garlics here, but I'm actually using six because what doesn't taste better with more garlic? <laughs> well, I don't know. So I'm just gonna cut these up and by the magic of YouTube. That's done! Right, I better check these steaks, make sure they're not burning. Oh, well, well they're not burning, but they're stewing! Oh, right, just turn those over. Oh, look at the juices. Well, you just know this is gonna be good when there's that much juice. I don't even have to, like, cook the other side, really. It's already browned. Perfect! <laughs> So, how about I chuck in the onions and the carrots? Might as well start these doing their thing. Stir that around. Maybe move the carrots and the onions to the bottom. And I might as well throw the garlic in too. Yeah, we'll give that a few minutes. Let those settle in, and I'll show you some of the other ingredients I'm using. So something else that I am using is half a cup of beef stock, and I'm also going to be adding uh, some wine in as well. Another half a cup. So it adds up to one cup of liquid. So that's about half a kilo of meat I'm using to one cup of liquid. I wonder what beef stock and wine tastes like. Surprisingly good! Oh. oh man, that smells so nice. But actually, before I add this in, there is something I did want to add into this. Some tomato sauce. 
who doesn't love tomato sauce? And it really does go well with these sorts of meals. I don't want to add too much, just like a swirl. Mix that in. And we'll pour this in. You know what would go really well with this? Some butter. So, how about... I just cut off a slab, maybe two of that. But I'll just throw some of that in, break it up and move it around. Now this isn't a stew, but I do want to add some tomatoes to it. So I've just got some cherry tomatoes here. This will just add a little bit of extra flavor and give it a bit more texture. And well, these dehydrated and roasted in the oven are always good. So why not whack a few in? I don't want to add too many in, so I'll just throw some of those in. Plonk those around. Now you do want to add some herbs to this as well. One of my favorites is the rosemary. Now I went to my neighbor's yard and just pinched a couple that were growing through the fence. So I figure that's all right. So I've just got a few twigs of it here, which I'll throw in. And something else that I'm going to be using today is a little bit of citrus peel. Now my auntie's always going on about adding citrus to your beef stews or your braised beefs or whatever. So today, Auntie, I'm gonna follow your advice. I'm just gonna add a tiny bit of peel in. Apparently, it adds a lot of extra appeal to the meal. <laughs> you see what I did there? <laughs> I'm not gonna add too much, just like a little bit like this. And I'll chuck that in. I'll just give it a quick move around and an adjustment, making sure everything's fine and in the right place. And that's pretty much everything done there. Now that that's boiling away, I can turn that off. I'll put the lid on. My oven's preheated, so now it's time to whack this in the old oven. Let's transfer this into the oven. Oh, jeez, crikey. And we're gonna cook that for between two to two and a half hours. I'm gonna go the full two and a half hours because, well, it is slow cooking and everything tastes better when it's slow cooked. I could probably even leave it for eight or 10 hours, <laughs> but I'm not going to. We'll come back in two and a half hours and I'm gonna be serving this over something else as well. So I'll have to start preparing that. You'll have to wait to see what it is. We'll see you soon. Well, the time has gone off. I can't wait to see what it looks like. The first time I've ever used one of these Dutch ovens. I am so excited. Look, I've even made some mashed potato to go with it. Oh, yes. Mm, dinner is gonna be so good tonight. Oh, guys, I'm so excited. Oh, yeah, here we go. Da, 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 da. Oh, wow! Oh. Well, probably doesn't smell as good as I was imagining, but oh, well, I can't wait to see it. Okay, ready for the reveal, guys? <laughs> da, 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 da. Oh, what? What happened? It's like, it's like it's all dehydrated and. I didn't put enough liquid in. It was must have been too close to the bottom on the shelf, or near the element or something. I can't believe this. It's it's like really burnt. It's never had this happen to me before. In the five or six years of making these videos. I can only remember one other time it didn't work, when I put an egg inside a bell pepper, stuck it in the oven. But this, this is just a tragedy. I just don't know what to think. I don't know what to say. Well, I made the mashed potatoes and everything, and, and this was like, our dinner tonight. Well, I might as well just serve it up. I'm gonna eat it anyway. Here's your plate. 
here. Here's your mashed potatoes. Here's your beautiful looking whatever that stuff is. Right here, I'll get some steak. There it is. Here's your veggies. There's your dinner. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time. I can't believe it's so I did.